Okay, um, I just wanted to make a quick video here just because uh, when I was looking this up online, I saw that there were a ton of people who had the same issue. Uh, so uh, through, through looking online, I didn't see anyone who made one of these themselves. So I did that, um, and I figured I'd post this. I'm sorry for the crudity of the video. I didn't really plan on putting it on YouTube, otherwise I would have filmed it as I went. So anyway, this is an HE3T. Kenmore front load washer and as you can see from the from the film here uh, the spider bracket broke completely now here in the middle you would actually have the shaft would be sticking up but that that broke completely off so the first thing I did um, was I actually took the shaft and this is where it would have connected to the um, to the spider bracket itself it's just a steel shaft. Luckily, the shaft, uh, the steel goes all the way through the bottom, and then it looks like maybe the um, this is put into like a wet aluminum, you know, molten aluminum, and then it hardens, and you can see they're square here, so it doesn't fall out. Anyway, so this is a, a very hard part to do because you can't mess anything else uh, else up because this needs to sit flat against the back of your uh, tub basin. So I did that. After doing that. Um, skip to this one I made this is actually a quarter inch plate steel three inches wide by a quarter inch thick um, and these I believe are ten and three eighths inches uh, each okay I made three of those they actually are welded to a four inch uh, circle so the four inch circle um, holds these and then it has with a bimetal hole saw has a one and three eighths inch hole drilled down through it which is exactly the size of that shaft so after putting the shaft through there before I welded these to the circle um, you have to make sure that this is perfectly perfectly plumb when you weld it into that uh, that circle because if it is off a little bit when it spins it sounds like it sounds like the drums gonna break through the side of the washer um, so this has to be perfectly perfectly correct um, and after checking and checking and rechecking, I did finally get it so that it was perfect. So after I, uh, I got all that welded together, you can see right now this is just sitting on little chunks of wood. Um, just That was just to get my height so I knew. Uh, then I welded some actual pieces that go down into the tub on each side and then tapped, um, tap the two holes where the, your screws will go through. So this is after I had it galvanized and I just painted it red here. Uh, this is an implement paint that you could buy for like a front end loader or a back It's super heavy duty enamel. Um, and I know critics are going to say I st you still have the bimetal corrosion which causes this to, to break in the first place but the um, the quarter inch plate steel is going to hold up a lot better than the aluminum and with it being galvanized and coated um, I shouldn't have too much of an issue with rust and frankly now that I know how uh, how to get it out of there the clips on the the you know this thing this is actually your tub where this fits in and there's just clips that hold it together I could even check it every two years or every year or whatever I'm not really concerned about that now that I'm I know how to do it but so that's all I just wanted to uh, share that with you people um, and it looks like all of the front load washers use the same cheap aluminum spider bracket uh, and that's all. If you have any questions, post them, and I'll, uh, I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.